So, yesterday, or well, last night, I had my first ever midnight premiere. And lucky for me, it was Rogue One, a Star Wars story. I want to give a big shout out to my uncle for taking me to see it. Now let's talk about the movie. So if you aren't familiar with the Star Wars mytholo mythology, this takes place right before A New Hope. It's ultimately the story of the rebels that stole the Death Star plans. Now, the first thing I want to talk about are the characters. Felicity Jones plays Jin Erso, the leader of this rebel group, and she plays it phenomenally well. She has a lot of angst, she does not give a shit. She just wants to get this done. Uh, Donnie Yen also is a real standout. He plays, this pla he plays this character that makes you kind of question like who can sense the Force and who can use it. With Donnie Yen's character, you get the sense that it's not just the Jedi and the Sith that are able to use them. And then there's the droid, K2. He was hilarious. The screen I saw it with, well, the only screen I saw it with because it was the midnight premiere, they were laughing at almost everything he said. So, and also the space, and also the space battles and the grand battles are phenomenal. The director who did this film also did the Godzilla film that came out in 2014. And there's something about him and showing scale. He loves scaling things up. The 8080s and the Death Star compared to the Star Destroyers, they all looked huge. It was really the first time you felt the intimidation of the Empire and the Star Wars universe. Now the downside of the film, unfortunately, is that while it is a really good film, the first first section of the film was kind of choppy in introducing all the new characters because we've never seen these characters before and they're the ones that we spend the film with. So it's a bit choppy at the beginning trying to introduce all these new characters. And if you, another thing, if you're going into this film waiting to see how much butt Vader kicks, and some might consider this a spoiler, so if you haven't seen it yet and you consider this a spoiler, you've been warned. He's not really in the movie for a whole lot, but when he is there, oh my god, he's a badass. And this is the first time I really felt that people were afraid of him. So yeah, all in all, Rogue One was actually a really good, really good film, a really good Star Wars film actually. My uncle and I, when we came out of it, we said this might be on level with Return of the Jedi, but that's just our view. You guys can have your own. So thanks for watching and I will see you next time.